Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the mean absolute deviation. The mean absolute deviation is the average of the absolute values of the deviations of scores from the mean. So using these fictitious data I have loaded into the data editor in SPSS. You can see I have an ID variable, an independent variable named program with two levels, individual and group, and then a score variable, and this is continuous. So to calculate the mean absolute deviation, also known as the mean deviation, in this situation we would need to take the score and subtract the mean, use the absolute value of that value. So it wouldn't matter if the mean were higher than the score or lower, we're taking the absolute value, so there'll be no negative numbers. And then we'd have to take the average of all those absolute values of the deviations. So the mean deviation represents the average distance between the scores and the mean. So to calculate this in SPSS, first we're going to go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and then Descriptives. I'm going to move score over to this variable list box. Under Options, notice that the mean is checked off by default. Click Continue, and then click OK. And you can see here in the output we have the sample size, the minimum, the maximum, the mean, and the standard deviation. And the standard deviation is going to be greater than the mean deviation. The statistic of interest here with this table for calculating the mean deviation is the mean. And it's 48.06. So after making a note of that value, return to the data editor although this next step could also be performed from the output viewer and go to transform and compute variable and first I'll populate this target variable text box I'm going to name the new variable I'm going to create absolute deviation and notice here that I use an underscore there's no spaces for the numeric expression I'm going to move over to the right here under function group and I go to arithmetic and then ABS this is absolute value so I'll double click that and where we have the question mark here I'm gonna put in score and then from the value of score I'm gonna subtract the mean and I know the mean from looking at the output viewer is 48.6 so minus 48.06. So I'm ready to create a new variable now. I'll click OK and go back to the data editor. And you can see I have a new variable named absolute deviation, which contains the absolute deviations. So these represent the absolute value of the difference between the score and the mean. So from this point, to calculate the mean deviation, I need to take the average of this new variable absolute deviation. So I'm going to return to analyze descriptive statistics and then descriptives. And I'm going to reset the dialog and I'm going to move the absolute deviation variable into the variable list box. And again under options you can see by default mean is checked off and that's the value that we're going to need. I'll click continue and then click OK and we can see the output from the descriptives and of course this table is designed the same way as the earlier calculation but this is performed on the absolute deviation variable not the score variable so to find the mean absolute deviation we're going to look here under mean and we can see it's 6.5 Zero two four. That's the mean absolute deviation of the variable score. The standard deviation recorded here is the standard deviation of this variable absolute deviation. So it's important to recognize here that the standard deviation of the score variable is recorded up here, 
514 and the mean absolute deviation would be recorded here in the second table and it's 6.5024 and as I mentioned before the mean absolute deviation is going to be smaller than the standard deviation. I hope you found this video on calculating the mean absolute deviation in SPSS to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.